the embarrassing experience with a, a parrot. So I don't know if anybody's familiar with Pamers, but it's, uh, well, I think they're quite amusing. So uh, digging back into my ancient history for a West Country accent. At the Cotswold Wildlife Park in the merry month of May, no laughing, come on. <laughs> I, I paid the man, it did. I paid the man the money and went in to spend the day. Straight away to the pit's corner, I turned my eager feet to go and see the rabbits and give them something to eat. As I approached the hutches, I was alarmed to see a crowd of little yabos hollering with glee. I crept up close behind them and weighed the scene up quick and saw them poke the rabbits, poke them with a stick. Get off, you little pests, I shouted in their ear. Don't you poke them rabbits, that's not why they are here. I must have really scared them, in seconds they were gone. And feeling I'd done some good, I carried on. Till up beside the parrot's cage, I stood to view the scene. They were lovely parrots, beautiful blue and green. In and out the nest box, they were really having fun, squawking out and flying about, all except for one. One poor old puffed up parrot clung grimly to his perch, and as the wind blew frontwards, backwards he would lurch. One foot up in his feathers, abandoned by the rest, he sat there, plainly dying, his head upon his chest. Well, I walked on down the pathway and stroked a nanny goat, but the thought of parrot dying brought a lump into my throat. I could no longer stand it, and to the office I fled. Politely I began, excuse me, your parrot's nearly dead. So me and a curator, in urgent leaps and bounds, with a bottle of parrot cure, dashed across the grounds. The dust flew up around us as we reached the parrot's pen, and the curator, he turned to me, saying, which one is it then? Well, you know what I'm going to say. He wasn't there at all, at least not where I left him. No, he flipped from wall to wall as brightly as a button. Did he squawk and jump and leap? The curator was very kind, saying, I expect he was asleep. But I was humiliated as I stood before the wire. The curator went back to put his feet by the fire. So I let the parrot settle, and after a short search, I found the stick the yobbos had, and poked him off his perch. <laughs> <laughs>